Got Danny here with me. Say hi, Danny. What's up, guys? Danny just got done with his first year at uh, Boulder Aerospace Engineering. And called me up and said, let's do some FPV. So I got to take that chance with one of my past students. So how was your first uh, two semesters at Boulder? So, first two semesters in college, uh, definitely interesting. Yeah? Uh, learned a lot, made some friends. Yeah? A lot of new experiences. What was, the, you said calculus was the butt kicker, huh? Yeah, calculus was definitely the tough one. Um, a lot different than high school calculus. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. It's, it's a lot of the same stuff, but not even close to the same teaching style. Yeah. Did he, um, any, man, you're hitting hard. <laughs> I feel like you're lapping me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like cruising here. Wow, your engine's hot. Um, did you take any engineering classes? Um, so every freshman in engineering at CU has to take a uh, freshman projects course, okay. which is your most basic engineering level stuff. Um, and I took the aerospace equivalent of that, okay. and that was called Gateway to Space. Oh, um, nice. Basically what that was, I uh, teach you a lot about space, uh, space travel and exploration, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and you build your own satellite essentially that's crazy it's a small uh, balloon satellite that gets launched from a weather balloon yeah uh, it goes up to just under a hundred thousand feet and you guys were allowed to do that yeah <laughs> where, where do you guys launch out um out eastern colorado so way far away from anyone oh okay i'm right on you are you right on me oh yeah i'm trying to, to keep the same uh <laughs> kind of plans so you can follow me um and how'd you do in that class? Um, that was a ton of fun. Yeah. Did really well in that. I'm sure you got, you know, a lot of the building pieces and mechanical pieces that that you excelled on, you know, here at, at school. Right, yeah. It, it really focuses, there's a lot of focus on things like programming and coding. Yeah. Um, you use Arduinos and stuff like that. Um, but then a lot of it is also just the physical building of the small satellite itself. I'm sure you just killed at that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It, the construction of it is a uh, foam board, actually. Wow. So the outer shell, I guess, is, is foam board, um, and you use an inner foam uh, insulation. Yeah. To keep it keep it all warm. That's crazy. And did did yours work? Um, our first attempt, we actually didn't weren't able to get it to work. Uh, we had some problems with our Arduino and the SD card. Yeah. Um, but fortunately enough, the professor let us fly a second time. Um, that time it did work. Nice. That was a lot of fun. Now, when you did that, did you find yourself um, ahead of the curve with that type of um, I, application, building? And I definitely excelled in the, uh, the building part of it yeah um, and I left some of the coding and programming to the other team members right because um, we ate, I was in a team of seven. Oh, okay yeah because the LHS just started a program a code or a electronics program right before you left so oh, really yeah I can see why you missed out on that because I probably would have helped out yeah I, I mean I also did take a uh, 
programming class first semester. Yeah. Which definitely helped with stuff like that. Nice. Um, but I kind of focused where I could put my best uh, expertise into. Yeah. Excellent. Did you tell them about your drone that you made for the North, Northern Colorado Bomb Squad? Yeah, I definitely told a few people about <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. I feel like, um, you know, like I'm in Call of Duty and everyone else is moving so much fa faster than I am. <laughs> and you just feel like giving up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna come in here. You gonna come in? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting low. Getting low? Okay. I'm coming in too. Oh, perfect timing. Awesome. Sweet. Want to do another battery? Let's do it. All right. Battery number two. Gotta love it. So you got, you know it's a 10 minute interview when you run through two batteries. <laughs> All right, I'll wait for you to get up. Oh, God. Almost fell. Almost fell. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so there's, um, was there anything that, that you got to be a part of that wasn't like the classroom norm, like a course? Yeah. The club or anything like that you got to be a part of? Yeah, so there's a, uh, there's a really awesome club at Boulder. Uh, it's called Design Build Fly. Yeah. Uh, the basic premise behind that is they build competition RC planes. And uh, each year, the uh... hold on, hold on one second. Hey Jake, yeah. make sure you don't power on, because that's. I don't the... have any batteries. Okay, sure. good. Yeah. If you power on, you might take one of us out. Yeah, no, nothing. All right, dude. Daniel, go ahead and nail it. See if I can. So. Track you. Do you, you want, want me to ahead? film? Yeah. No, I'm pretty good, dude. All right. Okay. So the the whole idea behind that is um, whoever whoever's running that, usually it's AIAA. Yeah. Um, they. Every year they come out with their, you know, competition guidelines and rules and specifications. Yeah. Uh, and every year it's different and some crazy twist or something you have to do. Um, and then you get basically, you know, the whole school year or most of the school year to build your plane and test and fly and come out to competition. Wow. Which this year was in Wichita, Kansas. And did you guys do that already? Yeah, yeah. And how did you guys do? So we didn't place... Um, quite where we we would have liked we ran into a lot of uh, Laugh him. a lot of problems with hey. our electronics uh, but the the good thing was oh, man, he's going up on you Marshall we were able to to overcome a lot of our problems during competition yeah um, which is really the key point you know learn from those Dude, experiences. he's gonna laugh you Marshall stop it Jake <laughs> he is he's right behind you <laughs> no keep talking Daniel I'm listening uh. Um, so yeah, I mean that was pretty much the premise of it. Um, so the competition itself this year was for the first time you actually had to create two. And he laps them. So there's a big and a small plane essentially. Yeah. Small plane, its criteria was you had to fly with a uh, 32 nice. ounce Gatorade bottle. Full. Nice. Full Gatorade. Full of 32 ounce Gatorade. Wow. And then the big plane had to carry the small plane inside of it. Wow. And, and fully enclosed. And did you guys get any of that to work? Uh, yeah. Wow. So, did you crash? Ooh. I crashed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hold on, hold on. We might be able to get back up. Yeah. Up. Uh, you good? good? Yeah. All right. Good. So yeah, we were able to, to design and manufacture both of our planes. Nice. Crazy, crazy experience. It was wow. a lot of work, put a lot of time into it. Now, but, I, I mean, I, I can imagine, is, is was a lot of freshmen in this group or was it? Uh, no, there was only two freshmen that went to competition out, wow. of, out of the 15 of us there. Wow. So me and one other guy. And that, is that, did they, did they recruit you? Um, not necessarily. I mean, every, at the beginning of every year, the engineering, Center puts on like a uh, nice save. thing that you know just kind of showcases what kind of things you can do. Yeah, um, and that's kind of how I found about them. 
Nice. Dude, man, Danny, you're yeah, almost flying parallel. You worked with um, did you work with a bunch of seniors and? Yeah, so uh, uh, mostly juniors and sophomores. Nice. And there was one or two seniors, two or three seniors there. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. Learned a lot. Good. I'm sure your uh, remote control. Um, your real experience. control experience came in to play. Oh yeah, they definitely appreciated that. A lot of them were, you know, major engineering heads and didn't quite see the, uh, you know, RC side of it. Yeah. Which at its heart it was. Well, that was probably good. You, you're an asset to that. Right. That's and cool. So next year I'm going to be going back as one of their leads, and I'm going to be leading the uh, propulsion side of things. So motors, ESCs. Stuff like that. Yeah. As a sophomore. Yeah. And a boy. Good job. So we still got. You about done? Yeah. So you got three more years. And is the plan to stay in Colorado or? So right now, at least, the plan is to stay in Colorado. Um, still at CU for now. Yeah. See what happens later. But wow. That's the plan for right now. Well, I'm proud of you, man. Thanks. Good job. Cool, huh? Yeah, you were almost flying parallel at some point too, really. Thanks. Apparently. <laughs> He's getting really good. Well, um, Dan, we would love to. I'm sure the people who watch this too would love for you to come back every once in a while to just talk about your experiences and oh, yeah. how it's going in college because it helps, you know, like uh, Jake over here, you hear about what you have to take and what classes you have to prepare for and all that. It's it's super vital to have someone on the inside yeah. to be able to come back and, and kind of talk about that kind of stuff. So. Um, Thanks for coming out. Of course. And we uh, wish you all the best of luck for second semester or uh, second year Thank go around. You. Thank you. I'll, I'll definitely be back. You know I will. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, guys, uh, that concludes our episode of Where Are They At Now with um, Danny Lieber. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.